Hey there, creative friends, welcome. I have been doing a lot of stuff in my studio lately. It is a mess around me, just I'm just embracing it, not gonna freak out about it. I wanted to make this video because lately I've been getting a lot of traction on some of my greeting card stuff, uh, content on YouTube that is. And the question I get all the time is what paper do I use for my greeting cards? So recently I had a breakthrough with that. So this video is going to be hopefully pretty short and I'm just going to tell you what the paper is, where to get it, my thoughts on it, and like I'll show you how I'm using it. Uh, because greeting card paper is so frustrating. If you are watching this, you may likely also feel very frustrated by it. Um, and I just feel like no one shares their secrets and I don't mind. So I'm just gonna tell you what I found, what I'm using, why I like it, and that'll be it. I'm gonna try and make this really concise. So context. For most of the time uh, that I've been running my greeting card business, I have been getting my cards printed at Staples and I don't use their card printing service, but rather I just use the document printing and the paper that I select from Staples, Staples Copy and Print Center, is the 12 point one sided glossy cardstock. Um, this is paper that is my preference, especially when it's been printed with a laser printer. It just has this nice, sort of glossy exterior and a non-glossy interior for the card. That's really important for me. I want my cards to feel kind of like the cards you buy at the store. So I want like a one-sided coated paper is very important. Also the hardest paper to find, truly. I've been working at this for years and only recently did I kind of figure out finally what that's called and where to get it. So um, that's an option. If you don't want to shell out for the paper right now, um, check out Staples Printing and Copying because that's where I got this paper first. Uh, they also don't like to sell you the paper straight up. And if they do, it's very expensive. Um, I called them once and they said they could give me a maximum of 20 pages. So I'm like, okay, I guess I could stop in every time and then print them at home to save some money. Cause I have, a, I have an inkjet printer. Um, it's an Epson EcoTank. Uh, 2400. I'll link everything I'm talking about down below, but that's my printer. It's fine. Anyways, I went into the store and I asked them to buy paper and they were like, well, how much do you want? They didn't give me a limit. So maybe your store will, and maybe they won't. I digress. So that's what I've been doing up until now. I have my printer at home. Uh, so like I said, Epson EcoTank, uh, huge savings on ink. It does a great job. I'm very happy with the print quality. I'm gesturing cause it's over there <laughs> in my office. Um, but it's an inkjet printer. The paper that I'm gonna recommend uh, works perfectly fine on an inkjet. I think it works best on a laser printer, um, but I'm going to be using it on my inkjet at home. I do find that the paper, um, sometimes the printer puts too much ink in the paper. Initially, I was choosing like a high quality print uh, photo paper as the type when I was doing my print settings. And I found that that was putting too much ink into the paper and it was bleeding a little bit specifically for red colors. I don't know why. Um, I'm not a printer expert. I choose like regular paper, but the highest print quality. And that seems to be working fine. Okay, uh, so that's how I'm using it. Let me tell you what it is. Sorry, I don't mean to be dragging this out. I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to do like clickbait. Uh, this is, here's a sheet of it. So this is just one of my cards printed um, and not cut out. But this is generally how I print my cards in the middle of the page, front and back, I cut off the excess. Um, I am going to experiment with putting two on a page. It would have to be edge to edge though to be the right size. Anyways, you can see the glossiness. Wait, you can see the glossiness of this paper. That's one side and this side completely matte. So that's what I'm looking for. This is regular eight and a half by 11 inch printer paper. That's like the standard size in North America. It is called chrome coat paper. So chrome coat from my understanding is like an old paper brand that was bought by a company called CTI Paper USA, and now they sell chrome coat paper again. And I guess all that means is the one-sided coated glossy thing is called the chrome coat. So what I like about it is because it's almost like a photo paper on this side, uh, the colors when I print on my inkjet are very, very vibrant. Um, they are also very vibrant if you use a laser printer. And this side is not like the back of photo paper, which is kind of um, got like a plasticky feel to it. This is like a paper feel. Um, just like the inside of a greeting card you would get at the grocery store or wherever else. Um, so perfect, you could write on, on the inside with a uh, pen, pencil, marker, anything would show up on this. Also, I don't really do one side, I only do one-sided cards generally. I don't put a message inside, but there's absolutely no reason you couldn't print on both sides of this. So I got a big brick of it. I got 200 sheets to test. 
here it is. This is the brick it came in. It came absolutely mangled. Um, not sure why, but the paper itself is fine. It's just this whole wrapper was torn. And it's the CTI Paper USA brand. If you have any more questions about the paper itself, like how it works or any like stuff about the actual paper, let me know. I can't think of anything else to say about it other than this is what I wanted and this was hard to find and it is called Chrome Coat Paper. But now let me tell you about where to buy it because that is hard. Uh, sometimes. It's hard for me because I live in Canada. So first of all, if you live in the US, there are lots of suppliers that offer this and I will link a couple of them in the bio or the video description um, because I don't have any, like, I don't have affiliate links to them. I'm not, I'm, I wish they would sponsor me. I hope they will. Maybe I should reach out. But for the time being, uh, I, I'm just going to share some links that I found on Google of this exact kind of paper, um, which you can buy in the US and ship within the US. Now, if you are international, all the other countries in the world, I'm just, you, you now know the keyword to look for. Maybe you have a local paper supply you can contact. I'm in Canada, so just an aside for my Canadian creators, um, this paper was very difficult to find. I found it weirdly on Amazon, but since I bought it, uh, and I'll still put the link down there, you can have a look, but I bought it and it said four left in stock and it was like $60 for this pack of 200 when I did the math, I'm like, that's great per card cost. Um, I ordered it as a test. I love the paper and now I look and they don't, they haven't restocked, but they have jacked up the price almost double. Uh, so I'm not sure if they just, whoever sells it realized after I bought one and no one's ever bought them that the price was too low. Um, I'm not sure. I can't necessarily recommend buying it off of Amazon because I think it's way overpriced. However, um, I can't find other suppliers in Canada that sell it. So I don't have any particular links. However, I will give you some information so maybe you can pick up where I am kind of falling short because the only idea I have right now is either buying it for really expensive off of Amazon, which is probably gonna sell out. It says, I'm looking at it right now. There's only three left in stock and some of you might end up buying it, um, but maybe it'll be popular and they'll put it back up for a normal cost. Anyways, uh, Right now, all I can think of is to import it from the US, which is going to add duties. It's heavy, so it'll ship, and it's, oh, it's gonna be such a pain. So I'm gonna to have to really ration this out. However, there are lots of companies in Canada that sell paper. I just haven't connected with any of them yet. The thing about buying paper in bulk is that there aren't really a lot of just stores that sell paper to the public. I'm sure maybe in Toronto there are, but like I'm in Nova Scotia. I, every time I search paper supply, it comes up with like restaurant supplies, like packaging and napkins. So finding someone who sells paper in bulk is difficult. However, there are some like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna say this right, Go Spicers or Spikers, I'm not sure. That is a wholesaler of paper in Canada. And I think there's lots of great options on there that may be very similar. I think Chrome code didn't come up when I searched for it, but they have similar things. But in order to find out the prices, you have to like request a login, which is typical for commercial accounts. However, when I did that, I have to like submit like a credit check and do like a whole thing to become like a commercial. I just want to know the price, <laughs> see if I can afford it. So um, that's sort of a dead end for me, but maybe a good option. Um, I'm just not ready to buy commercial quantities of anything. Um, I have a very little business. So that's sort of where I'm at with that. But I would recommend whatever area or province you're in, just trying to find wholesale paper suppliers or talk to local printing companies to find out where they get their paper from. And maybe there's like a company near you that could offer this. So the paper that I recommend specifically, like I said, is the Chrome Coat, let me see, Chrome Coat white paper, eight and a half by 11 inch, 12 point cover, glossy, and then C1S. C1S is paper code that I learned recently, which is coded one side. There's also C2S. So we want the one-sided coded in order to have the nice writable side and the glossy side. So I'll put that all on the screen uh, and I'll put all the links that I mentioned down below. So you can hopefully, if you're in Canada like me, continue the search. If you find someone, especially someone who has like an online store that isn't gatekeeped or not gatekeeped, just password protected, login protected, please let me know because gosh, I'd love to share it. Um, yeah. And, and so that's, that's my secret. That's the paper I like. 
Of course, there's no reason you can't just print on regular matte cardstock, which is way more available and way cheaper. I just like the glossy front cards. It's just what I like. And when, like this is on an inkjet, like I said, so you can see the shine on it. When you print it on a laser printer, which is what, I mean, I could just take this block to Staples and use the self-printing laser printers and do it there. Um, it would just be like 39 cents per page or something like that. It adds up. When, you're, when your margins are thin on cards, it adds up. But I find that the laser printer will reduce the shine very slightly. And I feel like it almost has a slightly nicer texture, but it is very minimal. And there, this is this is something only someone who had printed a lot of both would care about. I don't think a, a buyer would care at all. So that is the paper that I am using and loving right now. Again, there's no reason that you can't do matte cards. I just find that with my art style, it looks nicer on glossy, glossy card paper. If you are going to look for this paper on another platform or something, I think the important part is the C1S, the one-sided glossy or, or one side coated tag. Like I think that's the most important factor to why I like this paper. Um, you can pick a different paper weight. So cover paper, which just means like thicker paper, um, is typically measured in points rather than weight. So I would say anywhere from like a 10 to a 14 point would be fine for the weight of the paper. This is 12, which is kind of my sweet spot. Um, some printers don't like heavy paper, so maybe you want to test this with some cheaper paper first to see if your printer can even handle it. Uh, mine does, but it just likes it one sheet at a time, which is um, tedious, but fine. All right, that is all the information I have to offer you. I hope that was helpful. I'm here to spill printing secrets if I find them. If you have any questions about this, I will do my best to answer. I'm not like a paper wizard. This is just me doing my best, so I'm not necessarily going to know everything, but um, I, I, I make cards out of this and they're good and people like them. There's my claim to fame on that. All right, I hope this was helpful. Good luck with your printing. Um, if you have any secrets to share, by all means, let me know, paper or otherwise related. And yeah, hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. I love you. See you later. Mm -hmm.